really excited to see how he's actually been, you know, kind of improving on that and not just going immediately off stage, but also throwing in a little bit of neutral options because, you know, we definitely see John Numbers just, if he knows that you're going to do something, try to go for a little bit of a dash attack. Maybe go for a brag, some, uh, grab something that actually, you know, stop your momentum whenever you have it because that's exactly what we fit can have sometimes and it makes it so much better than it needs to be. Okay, we're definitely looking at this game right here. Very nice jump to get over that grab, but that downer is going to stuff out that combo right there on the end of John Numbers. But Leon is still trying to put on so much damage, but just getting out of these combos. It's the second combo that John was actually able to get out of. Yeah. Really nice on Leon's part. And by the way, I think in the head-to-head -head here, Leon undefeated against John Numbers. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, <laughs> so let's see if that can change right here, right now. I know that John has been also leveling up quite a lot over the last few years, and the last few months especially. So we'll see if that's... Ooh, soccer ball kind of saving him right there, actually. All right. Yeah, okay, look at this. <laughs> numbers is dying, going to be dying from that Koopa Claw. But notice that Numbers was in the corner, was getting hit, was feeling miserable, and then had to roll twice to get out of there. I think that... that Numbers is not comfortable there. Leon is exuding the fear regardless of how his opponent might normally feel at home at the ledge. Ooh, very nice combo starter right there. Trying to get a little bit of damage, but not doing too much. And trying to have Leon lap him in percents right now. This is definitely really scary. And Leon is playing so well right now. Just making it so much harder for John to do anything and getting that grab. The forward throw, I think that was? That was the down throw. No, it makes sense you want to keep forward throw and back throw fresh. And down throw still has very solid damage. Oh, God. This is so scary. For John Numbers still trying to get back onto stage and just getting stuffed out in that F2. Oh. Doing... Wow, numbers for Leon. And the thing is, like, normally numbers is very comfortable sitting on the ledge with Weefit because she's a very low hang. But uh, the, the, the Bowser's <laughs> forward tilt, it's a giant fist. It's a giant fist that's really doing a lot of damage, especially in a lot of situations like this. And this is, again, really scary for numbers because numbers is on his last stop. Yeah. Uh, numbers Ooh. is normally so comfortable at the ledge that I don't know if he knows how to get out of there. Especially against Leon right now. Okay, right there, the aggressive option. I think that it's actually a very notable thing. Very important to poor John to have Sun Salutation charged up in case he winds up off stage. <gasps> okay, we're fine. Oh nice my god, roll. and we're definitely seeing a little bit of a harder time on Numbers' end trying to actually punish, you know, Leon on shield because that's the thing too. A lot of people, you know, find that they can have a little bit of a hard time actually trying to like you know punish bowser on shield and that's the, exactly the issue that we're seeing from numbers right here nice. Ooh, good that job really nice app tilt to totally out that stock yep deep breathing there finally managing to close out that stock but 96 percent in numbers this is his last life for game one leon's just playing absolutely brilliantly it feels like whatever numbers wants to be doing it's just being shut down there is no game plan, only misery right now. Can John figure it out? Leon still chasing him down. Honestly, what else can you say about this matchup? Because Leon's making this so hard ah. that that mana grab is going to be able to take out that game. Really nice game coming in from Leon. Just making it so hard for, you know, I mean, um, numbers. I was going to say, to, like, for numbers to do anything. Really crazy. Well, I think that's like numbers, what are normally his strongest sort of positions as a player, are just so, so brutally nullified. You know, being at the ledge, it, it's not a fun time. He's never able to get his resources off by going off the stage. Never is happening. And, and then, then on stage, he's just not able to kill. It's Bowser being very heavy and... The and the thing is, too, we've definitely been seeing, you know, a lot of what, you know, till, um, Leon's been doing off stage trying to take off a lot of numbers his jumps and just making it even that much harder for numbers to actually do anything and just continue again here like we're seeing right now with this edge guarding right now doing so much damage to numbers uncontested <gasps> okay all right look at that numbers hits leon does 14 percent leon hits numbers 100 and he's off the stage <laughs> Absolutely, and this is again a really bad position for numbers to be in, and gonna get oh. F tilted in the head, the nonkers, the, the 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 thing that is the dome. Ooh. 
Oh, I like that idea with the air dodge in the back. I think he was expecting numbers to go for some kind of, uh, like a header type move as an aggressive option. And oh yeah, just eat another, like, I don't even know how much damage that, uh, that up B does. It's more than you'd think. But... He's, uh, he's so consistently... Normally, Numbers loves to do go for the header at the ledge. It's mm -hmm. so many characters struggle to deal with it. But Leon's just like, okay, swat every time. Ooh, this is looking really scary. And getting hit by that Sun Salutation. And this is really bad time right here for John Numbers. Okay, good. Oh, my God. Wow, you did vision. not just do that. Oh, wow. That jump side B into the kill. What? Leon's that? full hop side B chase downs are incredible. The way he will, like, jump out of shield and jump ha across half the stage and just scoop the person up from midair. Oh, wow. Super scary right here. Gonna, gonna get kill. that grab. It is not going to do that much to this bit. No! Ah! Just sit on the sun! <laughs> what do you What do you expect the sun to do to a big old turtle like me? Nothing. Sun loses to butt. It's, just <laughs> a, it's a classic rock, paper, scissors. Who's going to get losing that situation right here and try to go for the Bowser Bomb? But dying to the F tilt. I love this. Actually, I really don't because Numbers is at one stock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love that something started happening, but uh, <laughs> the phrase too little, too late comes to mind here, especially because it, it's, it doesn't feel like it's a change in pace or narrative. Leon is doing exactly what he was doing in game one. John Numbers is kind of doing similar to what he was doing in game one, and it's the same thing once more. Yeah, look at that. So I, I do like that numbers throughout that sun salutation to basically force a jump from Leon and then did manage to extend the combo just a little bit by catching the landing, but extending it a little bit is not enough against a Bowser like Leon. Ooh, okay. and that was a really nice down air. Trying to do something and trying to go for that down air because John knew that he needed to do something to be able to take out that stock, but okay. that FL into the side B. Ledge Trap is going to be able to take out that stock. And we're too how many low. how many frames did it take for him to hit the blast zone right there? I don't know. That was like six, seven frames. He evaporated. He went gong. He went. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. Look at this. I just hate how much of a wrestler that Bowser is. Like just doing that little like that like <laughs> sumo style thing. I don't know. I don't yeah. like it. I mean, he's, a, he's a king of evil. This is not my era. I don't know about this. Oh. 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 Just <laughs> waving hello. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello from the other side. Ooh, All right. I actually, nice I right do. There. Interesting, because it feels like Leon is taking a much slower approach to this game three. Um. And uh, I think it's not working out for him. This is the first time we've seen numbers actually do decently at the start of a game. Not only is it decent, it's honestly pretty solid. Oh my, whoa, you don't have a shield. Where's that shield, buddy? Doesn't mean anything because you're dead at 171%. Okay, so I, what, it, okay numbers. Yeah, he apparently, he's doing what he needs to do now. And a man baiting him into those options. You miss your toe. Being popped onto the platform like that is so bad against Sweep at a low percent. Oh, wow. And the very nice Sun Salutation putting on a little bit more damage. But that down throw is going to be able to send John right back off stage. Oh, that was a very nice mix up right there and catching the jump. Wow, and getting that F smash, almost taking out that stock, but not doing it just yet. Ooh. And wow, that could have been so bad for Leon right there, but still being able to live. Yeah. And that fair just interrupting everything. One thing that I think Numbers is doing really much better this time around. Okay, yeah, just get hit by that fist. Uh, but he is maximizing his punishes. He's not like getting a rinky-dink little thing. He is, oh, I have the opportunity to get an F smash here. I will take that F smash. Absolutely, and I really love the way that John is approaching how to get back off to like uh, back on the stage because we've been seeing 
Ooh, that was a weird up smash. Ooh. But we've been seeing a lot of like, you know, um, drop down up air into like a lot of um, side B and just a little bit of a mix up after that. But I feel like Leon hasn't really caught out too much of it yet. So we're definitely going to be seeing maybe hopefully a little bit of like a stuff out in that Ooh, situation. Ooh, breathing. That's big. It almost kills. And there it is. That sour spot of down air is still more than enough. And numbers, two stocks to one. Finally feels like he's in a decent position at the end of the game. Ooh, and that was a very nice down air trying to catch that drop down, but not doing it just entirely yet. But John is still trying to say something. I have this game. I want this game. And this is not your game to win. Oh. Okay, uh, cool lead you had there for a while, Numbers. Just a little bit. Okay, oh, oh wait. Oh, and he had the opportunity to tech, but he missed it. Uh, uh, jo okay. That was sick. That was you sick. know what? John, John be playing games sometimes, a little offstage shenanigans, but I'm going to say that was a little cute. That, that, was, that was something. Look at that. Boom. Got the air yeah. dodge into well, the down air. It was a frame air. trap is the thing. Yeah. Yeah, in that situation, I think it actually wasn't wrong for uh, Leon to air dodge there as long as he had gotten that tech. Because it, the air dodging meant he drifted closer to the stage. He DI'd in towards the stage, and uh, I think he was maybe expecting to just land on stage as opposed to at the ledge right there. But, uh, yeah, I, I, still good stuff from numbers. Totally changed the way he was playing. It's... I, I feel like Leon also slowed down just a little bit, and Numbers, on the other hand, is he's going off right now. Numbers is definitely going ham right now because he knows that this is exactly where he wants to be. And I really love this counter pick coming in from Leon because that actually limits how, like, you know, John can actually recover most of the time. Especially, like, with the walls. It, it actually opens up one more opportunity, but, you know. Uh, why does Bowser have, some, have a projectile that does like 40%? <laughs> Flame Breath is so much damage. That Hot Breath is not looking good. I like that mixing up the timing. This is honestly, I. This was Leon's counter pick coming Yes, here. this is Leon's counter pick. That's curious because Numbers has access to that ledge now, the, the, like the wall on the side which can make his recoveries better, can make his offstage stuff even better. And those platforms right there are actually making it even more difficult for Leon to get down. I don't know if I agree with the stage counter pick. I'm wondering what the exact sort of thought process behind it was. We'll see, because here's the thing, too. Like I pointed out in that last game, Numbers kept on finding Ooh, a way. Ooh, that up there. Number was finding a way to be able to stop Leon from holding directly right at the ledge. And right here, that actually limits how much, you know, John can actually mix up his recovery, aside from the fact that he has, like, you know, a, a wall jump at that point. Oh, and this is that same thing that I mentioned before. Numbers optimizing punches. Up beyond shield, what does he do? He jump falling neutralized because he knows he has just enough time to do that. And that's so much damage when he lands it. Ooh. Okay, no deep breathing means that forward throw is just going to barely throw off stage. Can he actually get this edge guard though? Oh, you Ooh. saw the beginnings of down air come out, but wasn't quite enough. Again, the beginnings of down air, that move just not quite fast enough to beat out the uppy from uh, Leon. Whoa, Ooh. that was some, that was Wii Fit's ledge roll being extra long. If you don't know, Wii Fit has like a really good ledge roll. Ooh, that Bowser bomb is definitely going to do something and going right off stage to go for that fair. Ooh, this is definitely really scary for Leon right now. Gonna get that F tilt, sealing out that stock, but still at 103%. This is definitely looking still a little bit better for John than we've seen from the last games. Yeah, no, I feel like, you know, I was saying earlier, games wanted to do it, felt like there was no change in trend. There is absolutely a new trend here. And that trend is that numbers, his punish game is so much better than it was. Look at us. Oh, so much damage. And he's also finding consistent kills. Speaking of Ooh. consistent kills, though, that's Koopa Claw. We've seen it take so many lives over the course of just this tournament. But now numbers, this is end game right here possibly for him. He needs to be able to finish off this stock from Leon. Otherwise, he is going to be dropping off into the loser's bracket. Absolutely, and I definitely love how we've been seeing a lot of mix-ups from numbers going for like a lot of these, you know, empty hop 
Ooh, grabs. Ooh. Oh. And oh, that really nice up B into back air from the ledge. That was so nice on numbers, making this a game five situation. Yeah. Numbers micro spacing at the very end. That was so freaking good. I don't, I don't know if we kept it right there. No, 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 it was like, maybe, maybe it was. Maybe it was right after this. Hold on a second. It might have been before or after this. But he had this like beautiful. It was like walking on that platform, just like micro spacing around. And right here, the way he drifted in, just barely being just a little bit too far back in that forward air missing from Leon. Yeah, no, that was just so good. The way he was incorporating tiny, tiny bits of movement adjustment in order to find his openings that way. Absolutely. This is really good on the end of John Numbers, and I'm definitely hoping we can maybe see a little bit of an upset coming in from Numbers, because do you, do you want to know what happens after this? If Leon loses, we get to see Leon versus Jen. Hopefully. Ooh. Maybe. That'd be really fun to see. Certainly would be, but this game already kind of starting off a little bit better for Leon than the last few. I say that right as he takes about 50%, though. Yeah, these are the these are the punishes on Bowser that we normally expect from players. Numbers hadn't really been doing it games one and two, but now he is much more comfortable. And at the same time, feels like Leon has adjusted, to Ooh. say the least. Numbers got hit by that back here in real life. Did you see that? Yeah. He's got a whipped across the face. <laughs> Just got freaking stomped on right there. Oh man. And this is, this is actually really rem reminding me of games one and two. The way that Leon is putting numbers at the ledge and numbers are just not able to find his way back. And he's taking so much damage. The angling on the fire breath, the forward tilts, all of these moves connecting for so much damage. You're at 114, 115. Ooh. But John Numbers is definitely having to say something about this, but not at that down air has even more to say the about only, it. The only thing he's saying about this is oof. <laughs> oh man, and there it is. Yeah, so he's also adjusted to the Wii Fit ledge roll. Numbers have been getting away with that in the that, uh, last few games, but now he is staying grounded and he's just punishing it with Koopa Claw very consistently. I just really love the way these two players have been adapting every single set just making it so much harder. And again, I think we're really starting to see this counter pick come into a lot more use for Leon because that just makes it so much harder for John Numbers to really get back to stage. Oh, and hold shield. Leon is just knows that he's not scared of getting grabbed, and so he's just going to keep holding his shield and let Numbers F tilt right on it, and oh, this is even more damage. Now you're almost at 80. You are past 80, 97%. This is looking like game five after Numbers fought so hard, and looking like it's going to be a three stock. That forward tilt will mean his death if it connects. Numbers is aware of this, trying to be so, so patient. Can he even get a single stock on the board? No, he's too hungry, and Leon is just so aware of it. Ooh, very nice upper right there, trying to say something, and that Sun Salutation is going to be able to take that stock. And the only thing that Numbers needs right here is to be able to do that same amount of damage that he was doing on Leon before, getting back onto stage and yeah. getting that parry, but not getting a lot of damage and trying to get some yeah. damage, but missed the confirm. And this is so scary because this is where Numbers is going to not yeah. die just entirely yet, but this is still scary because Numbers lost all that momentum he was hoping for in that last few seconds. And this is going to be the deciding factor with that yeah. Bowser Bomb taking out that stock. 3-2 game 5 situation. Really, really, really good on both of these players. Again, I really love the mid-set adaption from both of them. We've seen how Numbers was able to get back onto stage those last three and four games making it so good but Leon this was the thing that Leon wanted Leon wanted to make it so hard for numbers to actually get back onto stage even giving him a little bit more of an opportunity to actually have that wall jump doesn't mean anything to Leon because he still has the ability to you know yeah. go for the FL, now, go for so much more one of those things that those Bowser moves that he wants to throw out ledge anyway eat up a lot of numbers to the, the normal hitboxes he wants to put out. He would throw out a sudden, he'd be like, forward tilt. He would try to header and he'd be like, forward air. It's like Numbers just throwing all these projectiles and he's like, that is but a taste of my fury. <laughs> Do you yield? And Leon's like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> just hits him all the way. And that game, the game five, really felt like almost a continuation of game two with this weird little break in between where Numbers was actually doing stuff. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. That was really.